so nervous, man. Why am I so nervous to try perfume? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Victoria, just your average girl on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing perfume for the very, very first time. I haven't smelled any of these perfumes before, so I'm really excited. This video is probably the video I'm most ever excited about, and the, I'm most excited about to film. Because as you know, I love perfumes. Every time I hear the word perfume, I get so excited. And if you have some sort of perfumes that you want to send me and you want me to try out, I'm talking to big companies, please sponsor me, please send me your products, I would love to. <laughs> oh, that's probably not gonna happen, but you know, might as well give it a try. So, as you know, perfumes are really, really expensive, and the reason I haven't tried these perfumes specifically before is because they don't really sell it in Sephora. Some of them you might be able to find in Shoppers or Sephora, but I personally just never smelled them. Or maybe I have, but I kind of forgot what it smelled like. And these perfumes are more on the expensive side. I think these are niche perfumes. They are not from these uh, designer brands. And I've heard about these many times when I was watching other people review perfumes. So I wanted to try them because these were always getting really, really good reviews. Now, these perfumes, most of them, not all, are on the more expensive side. They're really, really expensive and I would not be able to try it myself because I'm not gonna spend 400, 500, $600 on a bottle of perfume. But I found a website called Micro Perfumes where they have all these brands, different brands, really expensive perfumes that you can buy samples of. So you don't have to buy the whole bottle. You can buy the sample for very cheap, actually not really cheap, they're around, you know, seven, eight, nine dollars for a little small vial like this. But you can try it out before you buy the actual bottle and that and this way you can see if you like the perfume and you won't be you won't be spending tons of money on a perfume that you don't like. So that's what I did. I picked out a, a bunch of these little samples. I think I believe they are how many milliliters? Maybe like 2 mils or 1.5 ml. Very, very small amounts in here. And you pay, as I said, around seven, eight, nine dollars for these. So they're not cheap at all. One of the perfumes, unfortunately, they sold out in the small vial, so I had to buy the bigger one. But I didn't mind buying the bigger one because, as you can see, it's really popular. Even the small vials sell out, and I've heard so many great things about it, which you're gonna see. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the perfume review video. So the first perfume I'm going to review is Good Girl Gone Bad by... Killian, I almost said Rihanna, <laughs> because Rihanna does have an album or a song that's called that, I'm not exactly sure, but I've also heard that this is Rihanna's signature scent, that this is like her all-time favorite perfume, and a lot of people had really good things to say about this perfume. Now, I found this on Sephora for $315, so again, it's more on the expensive side, and I'm just going to read the key notes. So the fragrance family is florals, the scent type is fruity floral, and the key notes are orange blossom, osmanthus, and tuberose. Okay, let's smell this perfume. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. It's definitely something I've never really smelled before. The first thing comes to mind, it's really fresh. But also another thing that comes to mind is it smells like whenever you go to a hair salon and then they put all these hair products, hairspray in your hair and it just smells like, it smells like a scent that people at a hair salon uses. It's like a hair product smell. I can definitely smell the orange but I think I smell the tuberose. It's definitely a floral, floral scent. Super fresh. I can see this being worn more during the summertime. I think it's a really beautiful scent, but I personally don't think it's for me. This is not a scent that I usually gravitate towards to. Definitely a very, very confident woman should wear this perfume. A very confident woman who is going out to a nice dinner. 
Yeah, this is a very, very nice perfume. Yeah, it smells citrusy to me at the same time. And I can see this perfume last long on your skin. Like it has a very potent smell, very nice and concentrated. Nothing overpowering though. Like people, I don't think people would get nauseous from this perfume. If you walked past by someone, they would be like, oh, what is that? That smells so pleasant and nice and fresh. I definitely a more mature woman should wear this. Not for young kids. Maybe in the late 30s, 40s. Even for like um more mature women, like even in their 60s, could definitely wear this. I don't know, this scent reminds me of something. I don't know what it is. Maybe as I said, the hairdressers. <laughs> it's such a weird impression I get from it. Oh my god, it's so funny. I had to come back and just quickly film this because I remember now what that um, Good Girl Gone Bad by Kirian smells like. It smells like my mom. Which is so funny. It smells like when she dyes her hair at home and then she dries it and, you know, puts all the hair mousse in it. And it smells like that. The, like, after smell. Not the initial smell. Maybe the initial smell too, but like, like the dried down scent. I don't know. It just smells like my mom. So I think I'm going to give this to her. She might enjoy that scent. Oh my god, it's so funny. That's why I can't really see myself wearing it, because I know I don't really like that scent. But whatever, still a beautiful scent at the same time. Just thought I would share. Yeah. But the rating I would give, I think, would be 7.5 out of 10. Okay, now the next perfume I'm going to try is something that's been so, so popular within the YouTube community. And I've personally been wanting to try it for the longest time, but I've only smelled a dupe from Okja. I uploaded a video about this, but they actually took it down because it violated some rules they had, which I'm still going to hopefully re-upload or make a new video about this perfume. But um, I have a dupe for that really expensive perfume. It's called Swevon by Okja, and I'm going to compare it. Once I smell the original, I'm going to compare it with this and let you guys know how similar they smell if you have to pay that $425 because they're selling it uh, for $425 at Mason Francis. Um, sorry, at Holt Ram Free, which kind of sounds ridiculous. Again, I would never pay that much money for a perfume like that. When I smelled the dupe, I wasn't blown away by it. Nothing crazy to me. It smells like Ariana Grande to Kyle perfume, but I really wanted to see what the original smells like and what the hype is all about. And the fragrance notes are jasmine, saffron, cedar wood, and ambergris. I can already smell it. And it does smell really familiar because I already smelled the dupe. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it literally smells like the dupe that I smelled before. I'm not too crazy about it. Maybe the more I smell it, I'm more gonna like it. Uh, but it just smells so sweet, so edible, like burnt candy. Burnt candy, cotton candy, very sweet vanilla caramelly scent. This could be really nice for the winter time, but I'm sure it's nice for the summer too. <laughs> but I can see a person wear this more for the winter time because it's just so sweet. It might be a little bit nauseating in the warm weather. And I'm still not too crazy about this perfume. I think I'm definitely going to try and wear this perfume out more and see the confidence I'm getting and see if it's going to grow on me. Because I personally love really sweet scents, but this is... To me, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. It's a unique scent. Burnt candy, that burnt caramel, that's what I'm smelling. Personally, let's say 7 out of 10. That's what I'm going to give this perfume. The next perfume is Vivola Juicy Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. Now, I'm excited to try this then because I do have the um, or original version, which is Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture, as you can see. It's such a cute, beautiful, fancy bottle, and it smells heavenly. 
It smells so delicious, beautiful, that I really wanted to try the Gold Couture version because I've heard to actually go with that version because it lasts longer. This one doesn't really last long and you have to like spray a bunch. It's, it's more like a body spray that you can spray as much as you want and it's still not gonna be overpowering. But I've heard if you wanna go with one of the juicies, go with the Gold Couture because it lasts much longer and it's more potent. So I wanted to try that. And some people actually favor the scent over the original one. The main accords are caramel, vanilla, fruity, sweet, wild for white floral, woody, powdery, amber, balsamic. There's a lot of things in here. And you can find this for about $120 at, I think, even Sephora or Shoppers. Shoppers has it. So this one is not a super expensive perfume. Hmm. It definitely smells like caramel. This is more like my type of scent. More youthful, very sweet again. And I do see the similarity a little bit between the original and this one. Mm, it smells delicious. <laughs> I do think that I like the original version better, but this one smells really similar and really beautiful too. So, I would say this perfume is like nothing special though. There's nothing special about this. But I would give this an 8 out of 10. Okay, the next perfume is Decadence by Marc Jacobs. And you can find this for about $120 again. And it comes in a little beautiful purse bottle. Looks super, super cute. There's some woody, fruity, amber, iris, earthy, powdery, sweet. Aromatic, warm and spicy and leather. Now I can already smell it. Hmm. Wow. This is super unique. I think that green color that comes in the bottle really resembles what it smells like. It smells very fresh. I think this is more of a day scent than a nice scent, night scent. And again, this scent reminds me of something. I just can't think of it what it reminds me of. Maybe I smell a little citrus in here too. This scent again is not something I would wear personally. This is not sweet at all to me. It's just very fresh and citrusy and perfect for summer, summer weather. Ah, I think I smell something like eucalyptus in there. Very earthy, like earthy, plenty eucalyptus. That's what I smell. Hmm, you guys, I'm really, really bad at explaining perfumes. So to me, this is what comes to my mind when I smell this. And I think this smells even better once it dries down on your skin, which I haven't really smelled it before, so I can't really tell much about it. But I think as it's drying down, it's becoming sweeter and sweeter. But still not super sweet. So to me, this scent is not sweet at all. I would give this, because to me, it's so unique. Ah, oh. This scent reminds me of the first one by Killian. They're both so unique, so fresh. I would put them in the same category. But I only gave seven. I think I only gave seven for that perfume. Not because I don't like it, but I like it, but I wouldn't wear it. That's the reason I'm giving it only seven, but I do think it deserves something more. Okay, I'm gonna give this a seven and a half. Decadence, seven and a half. Okay, the next perfume is Alien by Terry Mugler. I'm so excited to try this perfume. I've heard so many reviews about it. Some people either love it or hate it. Like, I feel like there's no in-between really. And this is one of the favorite perfumes of this girl that I watch on YouTube. I'm gonna quickly find her name because I totally forgot what her name was. Demi Rowling. Okay, so Demi, I know this is one of your favorite perfumes. You always rave about it. I always wanted to try it because of you. So here's my chance now. Because of a name too, it suggests that it's gonna be super unique, alienating, that I probably never smelled anything like this before. So Sephora sells this for $140 
And it says that this is a floral fragrance, warm floral, and the keynotes are jasmine sandbag, cashmere and wood, and amber grits. Let's smell this beast. Mmm. Haha, <laughs> okay, I smell the floral right away. Very floral, very warm. And I smell powdery in this too. It's a nice scent, but not my scent again. It's not a bad perfume again. I would give this a 7 out of 10. Oh, a 7.5 out of 10. I feel like I still haven't found a perfume that's worth more than 8 to me. Yeah, now that the alien has dried down, I can really smell the jasmine too in it. Okay, the next perfume is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. Again, I heard this from Demi and a lot of other people. And I really wanted to try this. It's a warm and spicy scent. You can get this for about $172 on the Sephora website and I have this in a little bit bigger of a tube this I got it from Scentbird actually you guys uh, let me show it to you I'm so excited Scentbird is finally shipping to Canada it's been years I've been waiting for years for them to send to Canada the only thing is I don't really like their perfume selection I thought they would have like all the perfumes I wanted to try but no so I'm, I don't know if I'm going to continue with the subscription, but um, they ended up sending me my first perfume, which was the Mon Guerlain. So let's try this out. Mm. <laughs> this gives me so much happiness to smell it. It's very vibrant, sweet, finally. Sweet and fresh, and I also do smell the spices in here. Maybe it's a mint too. Hmm. Very beautiful scent. It's like everything in here. It's sexy, it's fresh, it's vibrant, it's sweet, spicy. I feel like it got in my mouth too, and now it's like minty. But I do so I do smell some powderiness in the background too, so I feel like once it dries down, it's gonna become a bit more powdery. It kind of reminds me of Flower Bomb, but it's more of a higher vibration. The ver the vibration on this is higher on this perfume. No, maybe not. I don't even know what I'm talking now. No, 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 no Flower Bomb. <laughs> Again, I feel like this is more for a mature woman. And once it's drying down, I do feel some, I do smell something masculine in this in the background too. More of a manly scent as it's drying down. I don't know. I will give this an 8 out of 10. Alright, and for last, I left the perfume I'm most excited to try. I'm so excited to try. I literally can't i didn't know where i could find this perfume so it is called delina by parfums de marley oh my goodness so this is the perfume that didn't have the small vial anymore it's all sold out so i ended up going with the large one because i swear all the perfumes all the perfume reviews i read no bad reviews at all so i'm like i'm probably gonna like it too but you know knowing me i have like this weird scent so um, this is what the little box looks like. I'm so excited to try this. So it retails for $416. This is, I think, the most expensive perfume. Um, even more expensive than the Bacart Rouge. And the top, it's style, it's again floral. It has bergamot, nutmeg, rhubarb, lychee. Turkish rose, vetiver, cedarwood, vanilla, cashmere musk. It's a very feminine, delicate, and sensual scent. So let's see. These are so cute. Like you just, whoop, whoop, it comes out. Guys, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm so nervous, man. Why am I so nervous to try a perfume? <laughs> Hmm. 
This reminds me of Idol by Lancome, literally. Very fresh. Oh my gosh, so fresh and floral. I don't know what to say about this perfume, guys. I'm not too crazy about it. To me, this doesn't smell sweet. It's very fresh, again, very floral, very feminine. The bottle is perfect representation of the smell. Super feminine, perfect for summertime. But honestly, I expected a little bit more from this. I'm a little bit let down because I just thought this was gonna be like a perfume that I'm gonna love, fall in love with fall in love with just like how everyone else is in love with this mm, now that it's drying down I think I like it a little bit better it's t it smells to me now like starburst candy oh like a sour candy I like that aspect of that okay I can work with that Lychee. Oh yeah, I can definitely smell the lychee too. I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. Hi guys, I'm in the middle of editing again and I came back just to let you know that I actually don't like that I gave 8 out of 10 for Delina because I did wear it the other day and a day after too and I fell in love with it. I think it's a scent that you have to wear. Put it on yourself. It's gonna make you feel so special like it made me feel so feminine guys it's i know i said that so many times the word feminine but this is a definition of a feminine perfume and it's actually so sweet that i love it like when i smell into the bottle i smell this sweetness it's such a happy scent probably the happiest scent i've ever smelled it's just a perfect scent. The only thing I found, and I don't know, can you please let me know in the comment if this lasts on you because, and if it projects well, because I feel like it smells really good. I can kind of smell it on me, but I feel like it doesn't project. I don't think uh, people around me can smell it. And I also don't feel like it lasts that long. Can you tell me in the comments what you think? If it's la if it lasts for you and if it projects well. Because I'm really curious to know. Yeah, so my new rating actually from 8 out of 10 is going to be a 9 or even 9.5. I'm going to go with 9.5 out of 10. Yeah. It's a beautiful scent, guys. Definitely recommend. I know it's really pricey. And I'm going to make a video about this um, dupe because I did find there's a dupe which is much cheaper. And I really want to get that after I finish this bottle so I can compare and let you guys know how it does. Smells. Wow, so this is the end of the perfume review video. I, I honestly thought that I'm going to be giving like 9 out of 10s, but I guess not. Overall, I think the most unique perfume out of this bunch was Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. I don't know, I feel like I've never smelled anything like that before. It's a very pleasant, beautiful, beautiful, elegant scent. But it's still not for me. I had so much fun with filming this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you want some more perfume-related video, then make sure you stay tuned because I'm definitely going to make some guys review these perfumes as well and see how their opinion differs from mine. I have a feeling that they're gonna like these perfumes. Alright, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah. <laughs>